speak to your mother and father yet? No, I didn't. Aren't you going to? Yeah, I suppose so. The longer you wait, Penny, the harder it's going to be, you know that. I just don't know how to go about it. I tried to ask Mom the other night, and I just couldn't. I mean, how do I ask them a thing like that? Well, I don't think it's going to be easy. I think you just have to come right out and ask them, one or the other. You're still pretty upset about it, aren't you? Wouldn't you be? Well, of course. Sure I would be. But the point is, you, you've got to do something about it for your own peace of mind. You can't go on wondering, imagining, and not knowing the score. What if it turns out to be as bad as it seemed to be? Well, it probably isn't. So give them a chance to tell you that it isn't. But what if it is? Well, I think just then you'll have to face it. But I really don't think you'll feel much worse than you do now. There's something about knowing the truth, no matter how bad it is, that, that pays off. Look, before Robin told me why she was mad at me, I was very upset, wasn't I? Then she told me the truth. It was a bad truth. I, I didn't like it, but it kept me from imagining things. Now, if you do that, you won't have to worry anymore. Guess you're right. In fact, I'm sure you're right. So, ask one or the other of them, whichever seems easier. You mind if I join you two? Oh, hi, Dad. Hi, Johnny. How are you, Peggy? Hello, Dr. Fletcher. I'm fine, thanks. All's well in the world of the candy striper? Oh, boy. It just reminded me. I'm supposed to be reading to old Mrs. Heatherton right now. <laughs> Will you excuse oh, me? Oh, sure, but can't she wait a little bit? Sure I'm not driving you away? Of course not. I just got talking to John and I forgot my duty. Oh, shame on you, disrupting the machinery of the hospital like that. <laughs> well, I, I won't be seeing you again today. I have to leave the hospital early. Okay. Well, don't forget to do what I told you, right? No, I won't. Thanks for the talk. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Right. Bye, Dr. Fletcher. Goodbye. Well, you certainly picked yourself one very nice young lady there. Yeah. I think she's the only girl in the world I'll ever care anything about. Mm -hmm.